Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Well today's video is going to be straight to the point and kind of short. Uh, in this video I'm going to describe exactly how you can get a VIN number and a title to a car that you've bought or built brand new. And what I mean by that is say uh, you don't have a car to start with. And for example this car. This car right here I built fully brand spanking new with all brand new parts. Nothing on this car is original or used to a 67 Ford Mustang. And as you can tell, this is a real 67 Mustang Fastback. Now, this car being all brand new, does not have VIN numbers here, nor does it have VIN numbers here because this is a brand new car. Now, how can you get a VIN number and a title to legally drive this on the road without having to take previous VIN numbers off a donor car and putting them on this car. Well, I can show you how. Now, step one, this doesn't only apply just to brand new cars like this. I can also get a brand new VIN number for this car way back here in the back. Uh, even though it's an original car, um, it's, there's no VIN numbers on the car, you can get a new VIN number for it. But in this video, it's, and it's the same process, but in this video, we're talking about brand new Dynacorn bodies and not official license bodies. These are bodies like this one that I built brand new all by myself, completely myself. No company building it, shipping it here. Each piece was welded, put together by me. Okay, so step one. Step one is to take pictures of each corner of your vehicle and print those out. Okay, now once you've done the photos and you've printed them out, now you need to print out all the receipts with the tax receipts and the purchase receipts of every single part that you've purchased to build this car, or if you've purchased a body, you'll just have the uh, MSO tag from the body from purchasing the body and the receipt from the body and the taxes. Now it's nice to go ahead and do a little work first before going in there, add up every receipt, add up what you paid for the part, and have a separate column that you've added up just for what you paid for the tax. So you've already paid taxes on this car. I paid taxes on each of these parts when I bought the, these parts. So the taxes are already paid. So you don't have to worry about paying taxes on anything for getting this title. Now you want to go down to your local county clerk building. Make sure you have your photos printed off in hand and also make sure you have your receipts and uh, have those two lists from itemized out so that they don't have to sit there have a long line where they're calculating everything up go ahead and have your total purchase price there and have a separate column that you've written down for what you've just paid in taxes on the parts or the vehicle that you've purchased now we'll go down there once that's done they'll have several papers to for you to fill out showing that you've you've purchased it and you're filing for a new vin number which is what you're going to be doing is filing for a new vin number not a lost title a complete new number uh, once you've done that, all I had to pay for, since I've already paid taxes, is about $15 here in my state. So once you've paid that up, they'll give you a registration. Um, I didn't want a plate, so I've just got a registration paper with that VIN number that they've issued me uh, for my body here. So once you have that, you've just got to wait. Usually it takes about a month, and you'll have a guy from the state come down, and then that's whenever he'll come to inspect your car, to make sure everything's like it should be, to give you a decal to put on the door jam and then issue you a title. Once you've received that visit from the state, that man is gonna come, he's gonna check your car to make sure none of the VIN numbers on the car, which it shouldn't have VIN numbers, if it's in this case, everything's new. They're gonna check to make sure nothing is stolen. Once they come in to clarify that it's a new car body, uh, hopefully you'll have some paint on there, but in my case, I don't have that, that done yet. They will give you a little sticker and they will themselves put it on your car. Now they will put that decal right here. That's gonna be that VIN number, or sometimes they'll put it here as well if you prefer that, which I do. Now, the guy that come to visit me, you know, I've, I've had some visits from him before on some of the other cars or trucks, 
So he gave me the decal and said, as soon as you get some paint on there, get that decal on there, because it has to be there to be legal. Now I will still stamp my VIN number here for the one that they've issued me and here. And it's also good to go ahead and stamp one somewhere under the body or the framing. They've given you your sticker to go on the door, or they've stuck it themselves, and then they file the paperwork the next day. And usually within a week, you'll receive your title. So this right here, I'm in the state of Tennessee. Now your VIN number will first start with your uh, state. You say it's in the state of Georgia. It'll be G-A-V-I-N and it'll be a number. Now that's pretty much all there is to do. Um, get your car, get your photos, uh, get your receipts, all your tax, everything added up. Uh, they'll come after about a month, they'll come check out your car, make sure nothing's been stolen, make sure everything's put together like it should be. And then they'll stick you a little sticker right there on your inner jam. And once that's done, within about a week, you'll get your title in the mail. What if I body swapped a new model Ford Mustang with an old body on top of it? Well, the VIN number will not go off your chassis. The VIN number will go off of what the body itself is. So this being a 2013-14 track pack Mustang GT, I have a 67 Ford Mustang body. Now the hood, the, none of the drip rails are on, don't pay attention to none of that. But you will have to VIN number your car to what the body is, not what the chassis is. So you will have to do the same process with this right here. Now, when you do that, when you purchase your car, your car, of course, will have a VIN number on it, which mine, this is the tag that I cut off of my Ford Mustang body. Um, that VIN number will have to be looked at by the state as well. They will come and check that it is. Uh, the VIN number says it is. They'll look over all the VIN numbers on the frame from the uh, new late model vehicle, new model vehicle. And once they've done that, uh, they'll come and inspect the car, see that it is a 67 or 8 Ford Mustang in my case, and then they will issue me that tag, just like I said in the video, well, a few minutes ago. But uh, that's pretty much it. You will, you'll still have to VIN number your car, issue a, a tag through the state to VIN number it as a whatever it is that your body is sitting on. You can't be driving around with a 67 Ford Mustang and the cops get behind you and say, hey, this tag number goes to a 2019 Ford Mustang. Well, that's a good way to get your car impounded and you having to find a ride and paying a bunch of tickets and stuff. So make sure you do it right. Go ahead, go to your county clerk. They can step you through the process as well. But this is how I do it. Hopefully it helps you all out. But that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope everyone enjoys the videos. Check out my playlist and all my old previous videos, body swaps and things like that. Uh, go ahead and hit the notification bell and subscribe if you have it. And I'll catch all of you guys on the next video and I hope to see you there. Thanks for watching.